Hi, Sanam. So once again, welcome on our weekly interaction uh, on Europedia. Thank you, sir. And Sanam, as you come every week and tell us something very, very relevant for, uh, uh, you know, uh, higher education opportunities uh, in uh, foreign nations. And uh, yes, this sir. week you have come out with a very, very relevant, uh, you know, uh, option that is for German. Germany, ke liye yes. there is a lot of craze among Indian students. Uh, right. And, uh, uh, Sanam, the talk of our disc the discussion point for this week is uh, related to recently signed agreement between india and germany so these two countries right. have signed one agreement name uh, if i name it uh, that is india germany migration and mobility agreement so uh, exactly. uh, you have something with very important and relevant to tell here uh, for all the students who are looking forward to uh, you know study in germany so please tell us about this first so, uh, so thank you. And uh, so this is like uh, new opportunities in Germany for uh, MS and PhD students who are uh, like seeking higher education. So basically, uh, it, this uh, pact or policy has been signed between New Delhi and Berlin embassies in both the countries. And uh, as you said that it is called as India Germany Migration and Mobility Agreement Act or policy, right? So which will benefit Indian students in the following manner. So first is uh, if we think about is like uh, the Indian students that are uh, trying to uh, do their bachelor thesis abroad. So let's say they have uh, completed their uh, third year in India. They can actually look for uh, uh, their, to complete their uh, fourth year that is bachelor thesis abroad in Germany, especially with, in, in, with the help of this act. So it has a dual degree and joint program act, which is uh, which will cover all the uh, benefits to the students. Then there is a uh, cross border research and mobility easiness. So cross border is uh, uh, something for uh, interested for PhD students where they can, you know, um, grant fund for two years from Indian government and they can go, uh, go to Germany or vice versa. They can even uh, go to Germany and uh, look for uh, funds for, from the German government as mm -hmm. well. And uh, there is another thing uh, that facilitate and sponsor movement of students that is it covers flight tickets and all these things. So these are like uh, to promote students in academia and uh, you know work uh, in work more so that they can uh, they can build a greater great community between India and Germany in academia and research. Okay. Okay. So so that is going to help Indian students right? right? Uh, so exactly. Uh, Sanam, uh, yes. my next uh, point of discussion uh this uh, you know before i go for that when these people like uh, german chancellor when they say that indian students are welcome in germany exactly so what do we exactly. mean, what this... do we understand by this actually so sir when higher higher authorities come up with these statements like that uh, they mean like uh, they they want to say that the funding has been increased mm -hmm. the intakes has been increased and they are like, uh, you know, they have fully funded open PhD positions as well, which we can talk in our further discussion. Okay. But uh, they, they actually hint, try to hint that, yes, they, they are actually accepting and uh, there are various opportunities for Indian students. So these are immediately implemented or what? I mean, if Chancellor has said something. Yes, uh, sir. so basically, yes. This announcement was uh, five months ago. So I assume that uh, it has been uh, like fully okay. functional for now. By now, okay, okay. So now, next point was related to the tricks and uh, tips which you can provide to the students who are going to enroll through DART scholarship into higher education courses uh, in Germany. Sanyam. Yes, sir. So, um, uh, so first thing is uh, students. You know, uh, first of course, DART scholarship is there, but uh, there are other tips and tricks for the students that are seeking PhD and masters there. So first thing is they should look for urban campuses rather than rural campuses. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to get into urban campuses like, uh, you know, there are various urban campuses like uh, Munich, Stuttgart, uh, Berlin. And, and other etc. are some of the major cities where urban campuses are there, right? Okay. So they should look for these uh, uh, campuses. Okay. And uh, second is uh, uh, like the, of course, the art scholarship. But uh, PhD students get more benefit in DART scholarship where they can actually, you know, uh, avail like a stipend of uh, 1200 euro per month and allowance to family, their wife, their children, flight tickets, 
health insurance rent subsidy all these are various perks by dad mm. and uh, besides that uh, they have to just uh, apply between uh, august and december mm. so that's there deadline is there for dad Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, what you said is like DAD is uh, one of the very good option, and you should, you should go uh, through that particular option only. And uh, also, you said uh, urban. So uh, I have heard that urban getting into urban university is more competitive, and it may be difficult, and expenditure may be more, Sanya. So why are you are yes, recommending sir. urban uh, to Indian students? Yes, sir. So even if you enroll yourself into urban campuses, like interdisciplinary programs rather than core. so let's say there is a capacity of 100 students in industrial engineering and optimization research branch and see 100 capacity of uh, computer science and data science and all these branches so of course there will be very high competition in those core branches but even if you enroll yourself in such interdisciplinary programs it will be much easier to get into as well as you will get um, and get into jobs and internships very soon okay. after that if the campus if you are in uh, urban campus so it's okay. better to look for urban campus mm, that's because a- industry is reside nearby Mm, obviously you see getting into urban is always very good as some of the universities you mentioned obviously so yeah. uh, salim also can you tell what are the, how to how what is the modus operandi what is the method to find the open positions for phd in germany okay so uh, of course we discussed about dad so dad is there uh, like there are many other website as well where uh, uh, you can look for open phd positions but uh, my suggestion is like you should not rely on most of the websites because uh, they are like uh, uh, you know they are dead i mean they don't update their uh, database recently so what you can look is dad is always there dad.de then you can look for third party websites like nature uh, nature careers then second is science careers and fraunhofer association so fraunhofer association is the german website itself which uh, which really which releases their uh, uh, open phd positions so when i talk about open funded open phd positions it means that they have uh, full fully funding for 3 years for yourself mm-hmm. for your for your phd you should not bother about funding for 3 years at least so you mm-hmm. should always look for uh, open uh, funded uh, phd positions rather than uh, you talking to professor and your professor getting some funding from some uh, Uh, uh from corpus and all these things right mm-hmm. so it's better to apply for open phd positions mm-hmm. wonderful so you have mentioned couple of uh, websites uh, other than dart dart obviously is one of the very important and good website others you mentioned is yes. nature careers and science careers and from our association association the other yes. websites which students should mention so uh, can we now entire uh, thing uh, three points we discussed uh, sanam can we summarize very brief summary from your side for these three yes sir so first thing is which which i talked about is uh, that uh, uh, in new delhi and indo german association so already there was very high association between india and germany related to scientific research mm-hmm. but this thing is like uh, uh, for the students who are uh, like let's say less skill set and uh, maybe want to go to germany and learn german language there are various other uh, work arounds that are required to go into germany right mm-hmm. so all these things will be taken care by this policy Mm-hmm. second thing which we discussed about tips and tricks where we discuss about dart scholarship then uh, location should be urban or semi urban not rural then we talked about eligibility and all those things and uh, then we talked about uh, how to find phd positions in germany right mm-hmm. and uh, where we saw that uh, like you can look for dart of course but uh, nature career science careers and front of our association and is also there and also we talked about uh, like open P- you should find open funded phd programs rather than uh, closed funded because uh, here phd funding is already available mm-hmm. a lot of money is already available mm-hmm. and one thing is there if uh, if you are mtech student in india you should start applying in the mid of third semester or very beginning of fourth semester if you want to try for phd in germany Mm-hmm. I hope that uh, answers your question. Yes, yes. So all these these three points very meticulously, very precisely, you have summarized, uh, Sanam. And uh, I will request you to come out, uh, you know, uh, every week and uh, come out with very relevant point, very relevant information, uh, because there are so many opportunities. But because of lack of uh, very precise information. students yes, uh, don't uh, you know apply and they don't take decision which is very important for them so i thank you again yes. sanam and see you next week again with one important important information yes.